Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have another quick update video on the Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst Emulated Client Project. I didn't have a video yesterday because I was busy reverse engineering the Creature or Object Damage Packet slash 4 bytes, which are pretty important, and I didn't know too much about it. And the people that I could speak to, such as Tofu, they didn't know all the bits either. I couldn't find anybody who knew. So, when that happens, it's not good because I'm not that good of a reverse engineer. But let me show you the process I take to sort of reverse engineer that. So I happen to know that this creature's ID is 141. I've got these debug tools that I can use to debug stuff. Help me reverse engineer stuff in Unity. So it's got a nice little UI that I use. Uh, you can see we can set the damage, the creature ID, and the last four bits, or last four bytes. And along with the proxy, which captures packet test cases. For example, I just killed two boomers here on my normal mode by accident. And you can see we can pull those up in a hex editor and we can inspect the individual packets. We take a look here. We see OE. OE, if you take a look at the hex editor, that is... These bits right here are set. Um, the 8-bit is means the creature died from this hit. Uh, this hit right here... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> so you should probably take a look. That bit right there means it was a heavy hit. Well, I don't know if that was the case. I can't remember. I hit them like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> but basically, the, these four bytes are... A bunch of bits, 32 bits with 32 potential meanings. Now, while I go ahead and generate packet test cases by swinging on them and hitting them, just to sort of figure out and take a look at how things change, I usually bring that in the hex editor, try to identify patterns of what's going on, what it probably means. But I also have this debug tool over here that can spoof damage requests from the client. The Unity client, so that I can sort of reset the creature's health and see what's going on. For example, if I spoof this one, you'll see him wiggle. Uh, if you send a zero here, he won't wiggle. Although I don't think I've ever seen a zero here. I have seen a one cent. A one cent will make him wiggle. And if you send zeros here, he will still wiggle, so... I know most of what this bite does by reverse engineering and I know part of what this byte does for example if we set 16 here he'll be confused so this byte I actually found out was from it involves uh, status effects like that and the way I found that is I just attacked the creature got him confused with this panic buster and saw hey this bits being set now and I can go ahead and spoof that and once I realized that I just started to spoof the other one so you can see that this freezes them and stuff. And what I do is, I've got a little workspace here for all the damage flags. I just go ahead and I start to define what each of these individual bits do. But of course there's two other bytes that I, I don't know exactly how they work. I have some information, but I can't really identify a pattern. And there's some bits in the flags here that either don't do anything, or crash the game, or freeze the creature. Or I just can't tell what they are. Like this one. Bit 1 and damage flag 2. Not positive what it does. Although I do have some information here. So yeah, that's sort of the process I go through. I sort of generate the packets from the original client through the proxy. I capture them in this folder right here. Load them into HXD. Take a look at them. And to do some debugging, I go ahead and spoof the packets using these debug tools that I built in Unity. And so that's the sort of process I have to go through when I don't know what the hell is when I don't know what the hell a packet does, which is it's not that common because a lot of the packets are defined, but there there are pieces of packets that have not quite been reverse engineered by others, or at least the the information has not been made public. And so I have to go ahead and reverse engineer bits and pieces of it like this. And I'm not very good at that, so it takes a while. Hopefully I'll have something new for you guys later. That's sort of what took up my day yesterday and why there was no video. But until I have a new video, thanks for watching this one, and I hope to see you in the next one.